We're here with Jan of Viking Aircraft Engines to learn more about the new technology that you're bringing to the show in the form of two different engines, a 150 and a 195. Could you tell us about the 150? The 150 is uh, still in production by Honda because that's what we do. We convert Honda engines for aircraft. The engine comes from the HRV, the Honda HRV, which is a very popular Honda car. And then the 195 we're actually looking at right here. What's unique about this engine? That's another Honda car. It's from the Honda Accord. Honda Accord this year has a 1.5 liter GDI turbo engine and a 2 liter GDI turbo engine and we use the 1.5 GDI. GDI, gasoline direct injected, turbocharged engine. And then I'm also seeing a prop on this which is unique among the ones that are on display here. Is this a special prop? We are having fun lately participating in the movement of STOL or stall demonstrations or competitions that are going around around the country and we would like to being on the forefront with engines would also like to be on the forefront when it comes to propellers so we're working very closely and have a partnership with Duke Propellers in France to manufacture and show a, a propeller specifically made for that type of flying for getting off the ground quickly and it's a all carbon fiber 95 inch propeller. When can folks expect to see a Duke propeller with a Viking engine on display at a Stoll aircraft? Well this was a rush to get this here at Oshkosh to be able to show it and then as we return to Florida we will flight test it and we will send it off to champions of stall competitions around the country, let them try it and we'll get some numbers on it and then we'll keep showcasing and uh, letting people know how that's going and then depending on the results we'll see uh, when somebody can buy one. Well, it'll probably be an exciting movement in the stall industry. Yeah. Moving to your business in general, I know that Viking Aircraft Engines has had some changes in the past few years. Could you tell me about those? Well, one big change is my girlfriend at the time, Alyssa, is uh, we're married. We run the company together. We've done so for five years. Our customer service has gone through the roof because she's an expert, more so than me, of being a people person. So people love her for that. And that has moved our company forward by having good relationships with our customers and, and the fun of dealing with them and uh, going and doing on-site installations of our engines and making friends in the industry and all that. So that's a big change. Other changes are, of course, new engines, moving towards more efficient engines because of the movement towards less emission and all these kinds of things. So we're constantly moving forward. We've turned from an alternative type of engine to a primary engine for many home-built airplanes, in particular in the Zenit home-built arena, where they have the 650, 750, and the Super Duty. Well, congratulations on the wedding, certainly. Yeah. Have you seen your customer base change since then? Dramatically, yeah. We've sold over a thousand engines, over 600 to this Zenit airplane I, I keep repeating and mentioning. What is changing in the industry is people are not as much of uh, the old traditional home builder where they would scrounge and bend their own parts and all that. People want finished kits, pre-punched kits, and they're the same with engines. They want videos to show how to put it together. They want a firewall forward package that has every little bolt fitting, battery, cable, header tank, all this stuff. And that's what Viking specializes in is to make sure that everything is in the box and all the instructions are available for the customer. Thank you so much, Jan. It looks great. The desire for adventure lives in the heart of every aviator. Built on passion and unlimited attitude, Waco Aircraft Corporation is dedicated to turning that desire into a reality. Waco Aircraft's team of artisans use handcrafted techniques from the 1930s, combined with the latest technologies, to bring two of aviation history's most renowned biplanes back into the skies.